Hi there, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm recording this video as a response to the call and prompt. And just as a warning, my house is full of young adults. I have a pretty open door policy and they called about an hour ago and asked if they could cook dinner here. So there are I think seven or eight people cooking dinner in my kitchen. So if you hear any noise, uh, they've been told to keep it down, um, but they occasionally break out into laughter. I apologize. Um, I am going to tell you how I ended up living in Huntington Beach. So I, I, I wrote about how I ended up here in California when I, when I graduated from grad school. I prayed that God would give me a specific place to go and that I would know for sure that, that he was calling me there and that I would only receive job offers there, which is a daring thing I think for anyone to do, but in particular for a speech therapist. There are so many jobs when you graduate that it can be a little bit overwhelming and um, I really limited myself. And I don't regret that, but I, at the time I really did. Um, so I told you that I ended up in Long Beach, California, because that is the only place that I received job offers, which is exactly what I prayed for. So watch what you pray for. Um, but I didn't tell you how I ended up in Huntington Beach. And I came to Huntington Beach because uh, the last night that I lived in Iowa, I went to get my stuff out of storage. I had been doing an internship in St. Louis and I went to get my stuff out of storage. Iowa was a really like profound time for me spiritually. At least it was the, in the beginning of a lot of growth for me. And I had a really good friend there that um, was probably my first ever really good friend. And I really wanted to stay nearby and I wanted to stay in the Midwest. I loved it there. And I was just devastated to be moving and I was, I'm not super outgoing. It, it takes a lot for me to meet new people and to become friends with people. And I really wanted to develop the relationships that I had there, but I had taken this job. I'd accepted this job in Long Beach. And so I drove my mom's car up to Iowa to pack up my stuff. And then I moved my big furniture. I sold all my big furniture and moved home what I needed to and packed everything else up in a pod and had it shipped to California and we did all this work. And then at the end of the, the weekend, I was just, we were crying. My friend and I were crying and she said, let's go do something fun. So we went to a bar, we went line dancing cause that's what you do in Iowa on a Sunday night for fun. And we ran into a friend of hers. Um, his name is Matt. I had never met him. I I've never seen him again. She said she had seen him maybe once since high school and then never again. Um, until that night. And I asked her actually, when I was preparing for this assignment, she said she hasn't seen him since. So it was kind of a fluke and it must've been God that put him in that place because he doesn't live in Iowa. Um, and he started talking and he said, well, if you're going to move to California, if you're moving to Southern California, you should go to Grace Lutheran church. And I was like, I'm not Lutheran. And he said, it's a great church. You should check it out. And he told me, um, the cross streets. He said, it's on Golden West and Eniger. It's in Huntington beach. And he said, Dave householder is the pastor. Go on out there and check it out. And so when I moved out here, I had that kind of in the back of my mind, but Huntington beach and long beach are not close. And I didn't want to drive 45 minutes to church. So I didn't check out, um, grace for a while. It, it took me about a month and a half to get here. And the first Sunday that I came to visit, I was like, well, I really like this church but it was the pastor's last week he was leaving and they were getting ready to call a new pastor. I was like, I don't want to go through that process and I don't want to drive all the way down there. So I'm going to try and find a church in Long Beach. And I went back up and I went to several churches in Long Beach and it was, um, they just weren't what I was looking for. I ended up back in Huntington Beach at Grace and I started going there consistently around December. And when I, um, right after I, I came here, they called the pastor that they currently have who is, um, he's become part of my family and really encouraged me to, he's really encouraged me to lead. He's encouraged me to go into ministry. He's encouraged the parts of my life that I was really unsure of. And he's been a great mentor for me. Um, I never would have met him if I didn't listen to that call. And I think it's very rare that God speaks so clearly in people's lives. But for me, um, I've never doubted, even when it's been hard at the church that I go to now, um, I've never doubted that God placed me there. And it, that, that lack of doubt has given me a lot of freedom to live into the call that he's given me. So that's the story of how I ended up at Grace Lutheran. Um, it's a very profound moment of call in my life. 
although it may seem like a little thing, it kind of changed where I was going and I'm 100% sure I would not be in seminary without it. So that's my story. <laughs>